Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Caden Puff Freeman and this is five ways to travel on a budget. So today I'm going to give you five tips on how you can travel for much cheaper and for much longer just by following a simple set of rules. Okay guys, so the first rule is Airbnb and hostels. So when I first found out about Airbnb, I was pretty shocked. The fact that you can actually stay in an apartment to yourself, which is nicer than a hotel room, for less than half the price, is pretty crazy. This is because there are much less costs than running a hotel, so you don't have to pay all the extra fees which go towards renting of the building and also staff. Now with Airbnb, there's a few different tiers you can select, but I would recommend having an entire apartment to yourself because you can still get this for under 20 pounds and some of them are absolutely amazing. I've stayed in a wide array of Airbnb apartments and from personal experience, it's just nice to have your own place for a few days. It's a really relaxing experience and most apartments have their own kitchen so you'll be able to cook food there as well. Now guys, tip number two, cook your own food. When I went to Malaysia, I was stunned at how much you can buy in the markets for such a cheap price. Now I'm talking three heavy bags of fruits and vegetables for the same price of just one sandwich and a coffee in England. Now I know everywhere you might travel might not share these same offers, but just buying your own food and cooking it yourself will save you a ton of money. Now in the tourist destinations, restaurants are really big money makers. This is because everyone just wants to get something really quick and easy and the owners know this so they can just always demand high prices. But if you just spend a little extra time each day planning out your meals, then I know you can save a lot of cash. Number three, buy your plane tickets in advance. Now, there are certain ways you can bring your plane ticket costs down. The first way is to plan your trip a few months ahead of when you're actually going to leave. Now, this will actually allow you to purchase your ticket at a much cheaper price. Now, plane companies rise the price of the tickets the closer they are to the departure. So buying your tickets a couple months early can save you a couple hundred pounds. Now, you can also use this website, Skyscanner, where they offer prices at an extremely good discount. Now, they're normally tickets someone has previously bought, but they had to cancel. You have less control over the seats and the dates of the flight, but overall you'll save a lot of money. Number four, use Uber instead of taxis. Now, when visiting third world countries, you'd think the prices of taxis would be very cheap, but this is how some companies thrive by making money out of tourists. Now, they will tell you their price is the best offer out of all the other ones, but in fact, they're just trying to make a decent amount of money out of you. If you know what you're doing, you can get away with haggling, and this will sometimes drive the price down by a considerable amount. But then again, some people are really stubborn in their prices because they know you're gonna choose to get it anyway. Now, don't fall victim to this pressure. Instead, walk away and download Uber. It's usually a much better service as well. Number five, stay in one destination for a while and travel by foot. Now, one of the ways you can rack up a huge bill when abroad is by constantly traveling and using public transport. I mean, it's great exploring new places and stuff, but if you're spending your time constantly looking out of a crowded window and your bank account is suffering because of it, then you'll benefit a lot from staying in one place and using your feet a lot more. This way you'll actually have a more personal experience of the land and culture you explore. Now, by all means, plan out a few destinations you really want to go to when you're traveling, but just don't spend every day feeling like you have to find a new destination. Bonus tips. These are some tips if you want to travel for a few months without breaking your bank account. Number one, go camping. Now, this is an amazing way to travel on a budget. And in some situations, you can do this 100% free. All you need is a tent and a discreet spot tucked away in nature. Now, you'll have a really rich experience doing this because you're constantly out with the elements and also you have a lot more challenges to overcome. Now, you can also pitch up at campsites for a very affordable deal. And this comes with some benefits as well because you have access to toilets, bathrooms and sometimes a kitchen as well. Bonus tip number two, travel with friends. Now, a great way to keep the overall costs of your traveling down is by splitting the fares with your friends. For example, if four of your friends booked the same apartment on Airbnb, then you essentially have 75% off your apartment. Now, you can also split an Uber four ways. That's an additional 75%. And finally, if you all bought your food shopping together, then you'll be eating at a much cheaper price. Bonus tip number three, 
learn to fish and buy a portable stove. Now, once you become a pro at this last step, you're basically living for free. All you need to do is buy some additional food and gas every now and then. Fishing has been a tool for the whole of humanity and has allowed people to survive in very unique situations. Now, pair this with a bonfire or a portable stove and you're eating every night at a very affordable cost. If you're also camping every night, then all you really need is a plane ticket to get somewhere. People often decide not to travel around the world because they think it costs thousands and thousands out of their bank account. By just making a few risks and lifestyle adaptations, you can travel the whole world at a very reasonable price. So guys, I hope you learned some new tips today and maybe you'll use my advice next time you go traveling. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and consider subscribing. Also, if you're interested in making videos whilst you're traveling then you can download my free ebook where you'll learn everything you need to know about making travel films so stay tuned guys and i'll see you next time